What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and today I'm gonna answer the question, is it worth it to mint NFTs in Gods Unchained? And if it is, I'm gonna show you how. In Gods Unchained, you get the ability to mint NFTs from the core set cards that you get totally for free just for playing the game, which is really cool because once you mint them into NFTs, you can sell them on the open marketplace and make money. I'm going to be talking a lot today about Ethereum and the Gods token, which are integral to this process. So if you haven't signed up for Coinbase yet, this is uh, an exchange where you can buy and sell uh, Ethereum and the gods token. In fact, this is one of the best places to get Ethereum and then send it over in what I recommend to be a, a big chunk to Immutable X so that you can use it to buy packs and buy individual cards. However, you don't need to do uh, any of that for what I'm going to show you today. However, it's a nice thing to have when you want to be able to trade both buy and sell. So I do recommend signing up for Coinbase. You get $10 worth of Bitcoin for free if you use the link in the description of this video. And then you can totally trade that Bitcoin for Ethereum if you'd like to. Uh, the first step in being able to mint these NFTs is that you do have to sign up for your MetaMask wallet. So if you've kind of been putting that off in Gods Unchained, make sure you do sign up for that as well, because that is ultimately where your cards are going to be stored so that you can trade them on the Immutable X marketplace, as you see here. The first question you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it to mint the NFT? And the answer is yes, sometimes. You have to check the lowest price available on the Immutable X marketplace and compare that to the cost in gods that it's going to take to create the card. So for example, I'm going to search for Switch Duelist because I know I have a number of those cards and it is a rare card. So the lowest price uh, on Immutable X is 0 0.000383. Now I'm going to use an Ethereum to US dollar converter on CoinMarketCap to uh, figure out what that actually costs in dollars. So 0 0.000383. I can see that's about $1.28. So when we jump over to the Forge, you're going to see that when I search up my Switch Duelist and then try to mint it, it's going to cost some Flux and Gods. Now, Flux is not a cryptocurrency, but Gods is a cryptocurrency. So when I go to Forge them, you can see it's going to take 40 Flux and 0.3 Gods. Now, these are currencies that you can get totally for free. You don't actually have to buy these at all. Just play the game and you'll earn these. I have made other videos on how to earn them and how to actually claim them because you not only have to earn them, you have to claim them to be able to have them available in the game here. But once you have them available, you have to check that God's price, 0 0.3. And if that is lower than the Ethereum you can make selling the card on the marketplace, then yes, it is worth it to mint this NFT because you're going to make money off of it. Now, if you got the gods for free, you might be thinking, well, you got the gods for free, so it might be worth it no matter what. And that sort of depends on you. But, you know, in general, since it's a cryptocurrency, you could just uh, transfer it back to the exchange. You'd have to have a whole lot, though, because of the uh, gas fees that there are for that transfer from MetaMask to the exchange to sell it. But you could potentially do that and just bank that money. However, if you're somebody who's really into the game and just wants to create the cards, that might be worth it to you. Once you have everything that you need, you only need two of the plain cards to make a meteorite NFT and then your flux and gods. And the flux and gods is going to change depend on the rarity of the card. You can click start fusing. However, I want to show you something real quick before I do it. And that is that it takes two plain cards to make the meteorite card, but it takes five meteorite cards to make a shadow card and then five shadows to make a gold card, and then five gold to make diamonds. So you can see it's gonna take a whole lot of fusing and a whole lot of cards in order to get that the highest quality, most expensive type of card. So let's go ahead and fuse Switch Duelist so I can show you what that's like. Now a warning does come up saying that this is permanent. It's actually gonna take the playing cards out of your collection, and then it's gonna take a moment to fuse the NFT. It's saying here though that you're going to lose the cards even if the minting fails, which is kind of a bummer, but they do have a way around that. If you click on the history screen, you could try again if it does fail. So I'm gonna go ahead and fuse with 40 flux and it's gonna take that 0.3 gods. 
and we're not done quite yet so we got to click continue because you have to connect your metamask wallet if you haven't set up your metamask wallet yet that's why i'm saying you have to do this because that's where the cards are stored however you're not going to actually see the cards on your metamask wallet you are going to see them in your immutable x inventory okay but you do need the wallet to store them so connect wallet all right you may have to sign in i'm already signed in we're gonna have to click uh, sign a couple of times and that's because uh, these are smart contracts. Click confirm, sign, and we can finish. The transfer has been completed and now it says switch dualist meteorite is being minted onto Immutable X. To check its status, click history back in the forge. So I did wanna show you that because if the minting fails, you can also check it here and it will show you. Uh, these are the cards that I've already minted and it says completed for all three of these, including the Switch Duelist that we just did. But if it fails, this is the spot where you can try again. Now we can head back over to the Immutable X Marketplace and click on Inventory, search for Switch Duelist, and you can see that there it is, the card that we just minted, and when I click on it, I can now list it for sale and choose whatever price I want to. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you consider hitting that like button and subscribe, hitting the bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.